likely feature smart farms. And livestock feeds remain the biggest headache for many farmers owing to their costs. This has led farmers to seek alternatives which are affordable and easily available. Now, Azola is one such plant offering that alternative thanks to its high protein content. And farmers in Yeri are warming up to this crop, which is today proving sustainable. Our very own Dennis Satiano has more on this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Keep your business running with one Equity Till number. With your one Equity Till number, you now qualify for a merchant loan. Simply dial star 247 hash from any mobile network and follow the simple steps to apply. In Othaya constituency, Nyeri County, Agnes Gadoni literally has her hands full as she makes her way to a rabbit farm. The aquatic green matter she's holding is animal feed. This is Azola, a fast-growing water-floating plant used in the manufacture of animal feeds. She is cultivating Azola as an alternative feed which is rich in protein. In our country, protein has been the main challenge to the farmers, especially the poultry keepers, fish farmers and the, those who do pigs. So we decided to start this farming so that we can see whether we can meet the, the, the challenge of, of protein. Francis Weru, an agripreneur, is also using the same. What motivated us was the high cost of feed because when you compare when Azola, something like Azola, doesn't even have any cost because the, thing, the only thing you need to buy is the paper and the Azola and it doubles every 48 hours so it reduces the amount of feed, the commercial feed you need to buy. To grow Azola, one requires a pond measuring 10 to 12 meters deep and preferably built under a shade of tree. A silpoline polythene sheet to hold the pond water is crucial. The crop is then maintained by adding manure, such as cow dung, every two weeks. This plant has got a protein, a crude protein of 23%. Then from there you introduce your seed. In seven days, the seed is ready for harvest. So I would encourage many farmers to adapt this as well as farming, since it is helping and it is very to adapt this as well as farming since it is helping to reduce the cost of feeds. Once harvested using a sieve, the plant is rinsed and pressed to expel excess water before being fed to livestock. For Agnes, the Azola plant has helped her maintain population of her livestock in a sustainable manner. Haifa International, a non-profit organization, is encouraging farmers like Agnes and other innovators to develop innovative farming solutions using its initiative dubbed Ayute Africa Challenge. If you keep good records uh, of how you're doing uh, the farm activities and you have an expert who wants to help you when you have a challenge, these records can be a source of reference or a source of evidence for them to diagnose and give you effective advice. What Ayute comes in to do is to provide a platform whereby we can get sustainable solutions to agriculture by providing or by bringing technology because we know we are living in the technological era and we also know that technology improves efficiency, technology makes things uh, move faster and it is also attractive to these youth who are afraid of carrying the hose, uh, the jembes. Yeah, yeah, so that is how we see uh, Ayute as bringing in sustainability. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Endeleza Biashara na one equity till number.